Welcome to the fastest 30 minutes in football. Today on Football's Play to Win, colleges are off and running chasing Ohio State. We have our way too early Super Bowl predictions, plus fantasy football injuries, and Jeffrey the Edge Schechter picks the colleges against the spread. Play to Win is being brought to you by Toyota, the Georgia Lottery, and John Foy and Associates. Welcome to Play to Win with former Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith. Fantasy Football League previews with Adam Brown. Game analysis with Nikki Williams. Play to Win expert Jeffrey the Edge Schechter. Medical and injury update with Dr. Andrew Lalaji. And your host, Atlanta sports veteran Bob Neal. Today's SEC report is being brought to you by Toyota. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome to Football's Play to Win, and gang, football is here. College football's first full slate of games today. And I'm fired up about it, because remember, these kids, they've been preparing since the spring, throughout the summer. It's time to play some ball. Time to play. Nikki, excited? Oh, we got some quarterbacks, and you get a starting quarterback, <laughs> and you get a starting quarter. We finally now have some answers. Yeah, we do. Not all of them yet, no, though, but them. soon. <laughs> Best time of the year. Best time of the year. You suffer all summer, and now it's, let's play ball. That's it. It's football season. We're going to start with our SEC report, of course. And, uh, of course, South Carolina uh, already played. Vanderbilt already played on Thursday night. But there's a full slate of SEC games. As you take a look, the big one on there, we're going to talk about it, is Louisville-Auburn. And on our next page, you'll also see that there's a full slate involving Texas A&M Arizona State. I like that game. And Arizona State has the Kyle Allen as their new starting quarterback. Sophomore played some last year. It'll be interesting to see how... Texas A&M does versus Arizona State. So that's the list of them. And now let's talk. Let's get started mm -hmm. with the Louisville and Auburn game. And we're going to start with you, Nikki. What do you think about it? For me, this game is all about Petrino coming back with a chip on his shoulder. He was the offensive coordinator for Auburn back in 2002, got caught up in that whole Jetgate scandal. I don't know if that played a role in why they didn't give him the head coaching job. But, it, you know, rumor has it he wanted the job. He didn't get it. I think this is the timing on this is impeccable. He's had the whole offseason to work. I think he's in it for blood. Losing 10 players to the NFL draft, I don't think it's a big deal because I think it's Petrino's world and it's all about him. So you're thinking uh, Louisville could give him a lot of trouble at Auburn? I think they're going to give him they're going to give him some problems for sure. I don't think this is going to be a blowout game. All right, how do you see it? Well, I see Auburn stepping up. I, I like Will Muschamp. I know what Will yep. brings to the table. He is a coordinator at heart, and they arguably have the best football player in college football defensively, Carl Lawson, healthy again. He's a stud, so you just definitely must watch TV. But I, I like Auburn. They're going to drop the hammer on him. And, Jeffrey, you talk about recycling head coaches. Will Muschamp's one of them. The SEC is a green conference. They recycle coaches. One team fires a coach, another team hires him. <laughs> now Muschamp is supposed to come to Auburn and – Make them great. We'll see. Yeah, well, I'm like an Auburn in this game, and I'm like an Auburn all the way, but I'll get to that Whoa, a little bit. Whoa, well, well, okay. Just well, say well, it. Okay. Maybe not all the way, but well, Okay, that's a big one. That's a big one early, right, well, Bob That's a big one now. It's a yeah, big yeah, one early. I better hold off on that. <laughs> it's because it's the first week of college football. All right, how about Wisconsin and Alabama? Once again, one of these neutral site games. Let's talk about that. How do you see it? Man... Alabama, there's no team in America that's been more ridiculed in Alabama with the, the SEC being basically the stepping stone in who we talked about, Alabama. Yep. They're motivated. They got the best offensive and defensive lines in football. I think Alabama mashes Wisconsin, which is weak on the offensive and defensive lines. But Wisconsin's been pretty steady and consistent. Yeah, they, uh, they've had four different coaches over the past decade, and still this is one of the most consistent programs in the country. Alabama's really going to have to elevate their running game. You got Corey Clement coming out of the shadow this year. <laughs> what? You're laughing at me? Man, listen, this, Alabama is going to come out and smash Wisconsin. They don't even I'm have their quarterback this situation is what, this yet. This has to do as much to do with conference pride as anything. It has you, to do you, with you, confidence. No, conference pride. Alabama's going to throw the SEC on their shoulders and say, 
We are the best, and I hate it to be Wisconsin. And I got clients that I trained at Wisconsin, some D linemen. Yeah. But this ain't the one to be playing against Alabama. <laughs> this is the wrong game to start out against okay, Alabama. Okay, we're off and rolling. You I mean, two. I, I don't love disagree completely love. with you. I think it's going to be. I don't think it's Alabama is going to blow that was them a cute out of the opinion. water. Though. Let me give you the real opinion. Bama's going to mash those. Cats. Jeffrey, put a put a point on this. Well, Bama's defense the last few years has not been the typical great Alabama defense. They need to improve their defense. If they do. Look out, Wisconsin. Oh, there you go. Look out, Oh, they Wisconsin. are improved. They I got, thought he was going to Wisconsin oh, there for a the minute. The middle linebacker, no. they got Reggie Ragland. Yeah. Again, they are improved, and they are ready to have a furious type of defensive season. They, the Alabama defense will be one of the talks of college football with how dominating their front seven is. Another big game involving a Big Ten team, a Big Ten team, the Ohio State University, is our college showdown of the week brought to you by the Georgia Lottery. So let's talk about Ohio State in Blacksburg at Virginia Tech. Well, I, I'm, I'm not – Believing in the hype with Ohio State, they're the national champs. That's last year. Yeah. These guys at Virginia Tech, and I'm familiar with some of them because I trained some of them, Luther Maddy and Daddy Nicholas, they are ready. They're yeah. two top-notch front seven pass rusher defensive linemen. Ohio State's going to have their hands full, and they probably – it wouldn't be an upset to me if they beat them again. Oh, you know what? Virginia Tech did it last year. Mm -mm. Yeah, Ohio State wasn't ready for them at all last year. Granted, Virginia Tech was using the bare zero. Now Ohio State's figured it out. I think they practice that every third practice now. But I wouldn't put it past Virginia Tech to come out with something else creative. Mm -hmm. How fast can Urban Meyer catch up with it? I mean, probably – after the first quarter, I do still think Ohio State takes the win, but... Are well, you drinking the urban juice? Is that what you're doing? Uh, urban I'm juice? hammered on urban juice. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. He's got the championship. I didn't mean He's pass the urban breathalyzer <laughs> before I came in here. Right, I'm with the urban Jeffrey juice. Jeffrey is drinking the Beamer Ball. <laughs> or, or are you? We haven't seen it in the last five years, with the exception of the Ohio State game. It's time for that to happen again. You think so? You think yeah. Virginia Tech? They're at they're at Blacksburg. That's mm -hmm. always tough. I like and it. it's the first Wayne game of the State year, and nobody hostile. knows. We've got so much more to go. Hometown team reports next on Football's Play to Win. Labor Day means big savings at Toyota's annual clearance event. It's the perfect time to get a great deal on our huge selection of amazing Toyotas, from the bold Camry to the versatile RAV4 to the fuel-sipping Prius. This clearance event only happens once a year and ends September 8th. Right now at the Toyota Annual Clearance Event, get a low 0% APR for 72 months plus $500 bonus customer cash back on a new 2015 Toyota Camry. Toyota, let's go places. How much is a Jumbo Bucks Lotto ticket? It's a buck. Okay. No, actually... I'm going to get the corn dog instead. Go, go, go. Over, you can't win if you don't play. Play Georgia's own Jumbo Bucks Lotto with jackpots starting at a million bucks. It can happen to anyone. The road to your recovery can be painful, both physically and financially. Your injuries could last a long time. Shouldn't your compensation? Protect your rights. Get a lawyer who fights. I've been fighting and winning for Georgia drivers for more than 20 years. Someone needs to pay. Call me today. Get the strong arm. I'll fight hard so you don't have to. Get a good look. Because this is the last you'll see of the 2015 Nissans. Now's your final opportunity this summer to get holiday bonus cash on the last of this year's models during Nissan's bottom line model year end event. For a limited time on select models, get up to 1,000 holiday bonus cash on top of existing offers. Bonus cash ends soon. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. Hometown Team Report is being brought to you by Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, bringing a higher order of pizza to Atlanta for 40 years. All right, our Hometown Team Report today is all Georgia all the time. And by the way, shameless plug, my son Dave will be broadcasting that game mm -hmm. at noon today on the SEC Network from Sanford <laughs> Stadium. Uh, but the big news is not that Dave's there, although it's headlined to me. The big news is the quarterback. Now there's been a decision made by Mark Richt that Grayson Lambert is going to start. 
Yeah, and they sought this kid out, you know. They From Virginia. Old Mr. Steal Your Girl. He is so handsome. You can't not talk about how handsome. It's like they brought him with his loincloth and his turkey leg to you come save all the, I'm you sorry. Stay focused. Save stay the stay women focused. at Georgia. Um, he, they saw something unique <laughs> in him that was unique to what they were looking for. I think they thought he was a quick study. They thought he was moldable. Obviously, he is now. They've made that decision. I don't know if he should get too, uh, too comfortable yet. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys were still splitting snaps into the season, but mm -hmm. you know, they've made their decision and I get it. And he's got better better players around him than he had at Virginia for sure. Right. But what's your right. thought on the overall look at that quarterback position? Well I think number one is gonna be trial by fire. They haven't been under live fire yet, so I think <laughs> offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer, he's gonna keep evaluating as the season goes on. Yeah, Jeffrey, what do you think? Uh, Grayson Lambert, do you think he can hold that job? The key is to play within the system, within himself, mm -hmm. not to try to over accomplish. It's like I tell my remote control. I don't need you to change the world. Just change the channels. <laughs> <laughs> All good. right. I could probably play a lot of that role at Georgia, like handing it off to Nick Chubb. Or right. Sony in a loincloth, though, with a turkey leg? Keith Marshall. And you don't want to see me in a loincloth. Uh, but the turkey leg sounds like a pretty good idea. All right. Let's talk more about Georgia's defense now in our hometown team report. Jeremy Pruitt is there again. And I know here are three guys, and you even have another one you like yeah. to talk about in terms of the defenders at Georgia. Well, two of the best in the game, Jordan Jenkins and Leonard Floyd, they're top-notch linebackers. And the strength and muscle of this dog's defense is built through the linebackers. And I can't forget about Lorenzo Carter, who, I mean, incredible talent, but also looking at Trenton Thompson, top freshman they brought in. This Georgia team is going to be led by the defense, and those three guys are the catalyst right there. All right, that's it. Georgia is going to have a, a pretty tough schedule by most people's minds. Let's talk about some of the key games in the Georgia schedule and see what you all think about this. Georgia, uh, obviously they're playing uh, Monroe, uh, uh, Louisiana Monroe today, but South Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, Jacksonville, at Jacksonville, I call that an away game. So those six that we list there, four of the six, are on the road. What do you think about that schedule, Jeffrey? Georgia's a funny team. They clobbered all the good teams last year. Missouri, Clemson, Auburn, Arkansas. But they lost to mediocre teams like South Carolina and Florida. So you just never know with them. But the key game to me is Tennessee. Tennessee, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chet, you're going to be there. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a nice big tailgate going on in Na at Nayland Stadium that week, Jeffrey. So it might be some ball magic going on. So dogs could have a tough one up there in Knoxville that week. Because I'm going to be there tailgating. So uh, I'm with you. And because he's going to be there tailgating, I'm going to be there tailgating. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to remind you of something. Next week, we're starting a brand new feature on Play to win that you're going to love. It's called the Red Pepper Taqueria Beat the Experts Contest. That got uh, Nikki's attention right I love away. Red Pepper Taqueria. The Red Spanky's Pe Margarita. Red Pepper uh, the top two helpful. winners each week are going to win $50 <laughs> and $100 gift certificates and be in the loop for a big grand prize at the end of the year. It's Beat the Experts. Think you can do it? You probably can. You register to win on our website, playingtowin.com. TV. Stay can with I, us. Back with more on Football's Play to Win. Can I play myself? Boy, can I have a slice of yours? You're a cartoon. You can only have cartoon pizza. It's not fair. Look, this pie is 100% real, and you're colored ink. It's physics, man. Well, can you buy me a beer? I can buy you a cartoon beer. Are you single? It's a pie. Everyone wants real mellow mushroom pizza because our pies use premium meats and cheeses, fresh veggies, and spring water dough baked with wheat goodness. Mellow Mushroom, a higher order of pizza. Come on! I'm coming! Let's go, Dad! <laughs> Who's ready to go to Wally World? It's a long way down. A blonde in a convertible? Seriously? Built for families, designed for drivers. The QX60 from Infinity, with a third row and seating for seven. Is your house uncomfortable? We can fix that. Get the Estes Whole House Comfort Checkup and eliminate hot and cold spots in your home. If you save energy, you save money. Go to EstesAir.com and book your appointment today. Estes Services, your man for all seasons since 1949. Bad pipes, clogs, broken water heater? We can fix that. SD Plumbing Services, your man for all seasons since 1949, will make your plumbing problems disappear. From pesky pipes to new water heaters, we can fix that. 
Today's player medical and injury report is being brought to you by John Foy and Associates. Personal injury law. Get the strong arm. Time for our NFL injury report. Some of the players out for the season we have listed, as you see up there, a couple who are indefinite in terms of the recovery. Right at the top, Julius Thomas with an ugly hand injury. Arian Foster has surgery on the groin. That's usually several months, two to four months, and we don't know about Arian Foster, but that's our NFL injury report. And that brings me to Dr. A and our player medical report. And by the way, you had a, a what, an F, F on Arian Foster? Arian Foster, I had him for an F minus. <laughs> you know what, that's, that's a right. lower grade than I ever got in college. That's I never right. got an F minus. That's right, neither did I, thank God. And I, got, I went to medical school too, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's a real good thing to know. All right, we talk about the projections. These are grades about how athletes will probably play through yes. the season. Let's yes. start with Amari Cooper. Yeah, so the rookie, uh, typically rookies have A plus grades, but you know, look at that, knee injury, toe injury, foot injury, all lower extremity for a rookie. That's why he's at 80%. Now, if we go to Antonio Brown, now, Bob, when's the last time you've seen no key injuries? Amazing in the, in the so, NFL. Amazing. So he's an A grade. It's a key guy. If your wide receivers are injured in fantasy, take a look at this guy. He's at an A grade. Now, the next uh, athlete, everybody's talking about Calvin Johnson this year. Is he going to have a good year? Is he not? Well, the algorithm put him exactly like we did last year, and by the way, we were right last year. 65% uh, performance. He had a pretty significant ankle injury, torn ligaments. The most important thing for a wide receiver is stability at the ankle so he can cut. And uh, because Calvin Johnson didn't have that healed properly, it's going to be a problem again for him this year. Now, if we go to Julio Jones, our uh, local Falcon, uh, he only got upgraded a little bit to a B at 70% performance. You know, the hip injuries for wide receivers, again, starting off the line. When you have a hip injury, you got to create speed very quickly, and that really hampered him, and it may actually come to recur again this year. And finally, this past week, the injury to Randall Cobb, a sprained AC joint. You know, the, the, things, the things that hurt wide receivers are the little joints that really affect them as a wide receiver. The shoulder reaching up above their head. If it hurts, they're not going to do it as well. And that's why he's out of B plus 75%. And for me, I always make sure my face is in good, <laughs> is in good physical condition and my throat works. That's right. He'll That's be right. giving me grades next. <laughs> no, That's right. no, no, I don't Do you really that. want me to do that? No, I don't. <laughs> this is Dr. A, Player Medical Report. You can take it to the bank. It can happen to anyone. The road to your recovery can be painful, both physically and financially. Your injuries could last a long time. Shouldn't your compensation? I've been fighting and winning for Georgia drivers for more than 20 years. Someone needs to pay. Call me today. Get the strong arm. Protect your rights and get the lawyer who fights. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Hey, no worries. Hey, you got my falcon scratcher, right? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Make the drop, give him the money. Roger that. Up. I forgot to stop. Sorry, man. It's a no-go, Larry. Just land on the sidelines. Oh, uh, Tom! The Georgia Dome is actually a dome! You can't win if you don't play. So take your shot at $350,000 with the Falcons game on Scratcher. Today's fantasy report is being brought to you by SD Services. Home comfort or plumbing issues? We can fix that. All right, time for fantasy football, and we have Mr. Fantasy Football, Adam Brown, joining us. Good to see you. Good to see you, Bob. We're going to talk about sleepers this week, and one of the interesting things about sleepers is Tom Brady, an all-pro, uh, is a sleeper because a federal judge ruled his suspensions have been nullified, and what does that mean, not just about Brady, but the whole team? It means his receivers are relevant, relevant again. Yeah, and that's good news for fantasy players, so get on the target on that right now. Let's go right to your quarterback sleepers. Sure, let's look at Carson Palmer to start off with. I love Carson Palmer. He had 11 touchdowns before he got hurt last year. Uh, loaded offense again, I like him a lot. Also, Derek Carr, six, mo uh, six most attempts in the NFL last year. Has Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree on either side. I like him a lot this year. All right, and as we go to running backs, Alfred Blue and Frank Gore are two of the guys you really like. Well, I like Alfred Blue because Arian Foster can't stay healthy, and they rushed for the most attempts in the NFL last year. And Frank Gore, new team, Andrew Luck, and all the receivers, hasn't missed the start since 2011. 
All right, as we go to wide receivers now, some of these guys you have listed as sleepers are not household names, right. but you say they may soon be. Right. First round pick Bashard Perryman out of UCF is a great example of someone that you should pick up in the later rounds because Torrey, he's Torrey Smith's replacement and he runs a 4.2740, blazing speed. And, uh, yeah, uh, excuse me, Ty Montgomery. Ty Montgomery for the Green Bay Packers is the number three receiver there. Look for him to have 50 to 70 catches this year. Okay, comeback players. Interesting group. You like Johnson there with uh, with the Colts, huh? Yeah, they're loaded offense. Andrew Luck's throwing the ball. Frank Gore's in the backfield. He only had three touchdowns in 2014. Look for him to have a big season this season. And as well as Sam Bradford, didn't play in 2014, having some trouble staying healthy. Maybe you can stay healthy getting the ball out quicker this year. Loaded offense. I want to go back to Tom Brady again with the federal sure. judge nullifying those suspensions. Uh, Tom Brady was probably picked really low in some of the people's fantasy drafts. Sure. What does that all mean now? So it means that you have some great trade bait for, for those people that uh, think he's going to be on the bench for the first four weeks. Go ahead and trade him for somebody like a wide receiver or running back higher up. Get yourself a Randall Cobb or a, you know, even a Jordy Nelson type replacement kind of guy, you know, even though Nelson's hurt. Okay, thanks. Good job again. Thanks. Sleepers, this is Adam Good Brown. Luck, he is Mr. Fantasy Football. Is your air conditioner blowing hot air? We can fix that. Turn to the experts at Carrier and ST Services. We've been installing and repairing air conditioners in Atlanta for 66 years. Need cold air? We can fix that. You can get 0% APR financing during our annual clearance event. Seriously? Seriously. 0% APR through September 8th. Seriously? Seriously. Only happens once a year. Seriously? 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 Seriously. <laughs> Right now at the Toyota Annual Clearance Event, get a low 0% APR for 72 months plus $500 bonus customer cash back on a new 2015 Toyota Camry. She's all yours. Seriously? Seriously. Toyota, let's go places. You exercise. You choose the salad occasionally. But staying well, physically, financially, emotionally, is hard on your own. So Cigna's got your back and your knees 24-7. Cygnus there to answer your questions. Or when you need some coaching. In sickness and in health, Cygnus there, helping you to get well and stay well. That's having a partner who's with you all the way. Cygnus. Bad pipes, clogs, broken water heater, we can fix that. SD Plumbing Services, your man for all seasons since 1949, will make your plumbing problems disappear. From pesky pipes to new water heaters, we can fix that. Today's NFL report is being brought to you by Nissan. Shop. Choose Nissan.com. Time for our NFL report, and we're going to start with our way too early playoff and Super Bowl picks. And let's get started with the NFC and who we think is going to be there to play in the NFC championship game, Chuck. Well, first of all, I think it's going to be number one, Seattle and Green Bay. I think Seattle ends up coming out of the NFC. Simple right. as that. Nikki, who are you picking? Wait, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I, didn't, I was so far off from you last year. I'm just surprised no, that we did so that. You were so far I, off. You were so falling off. Just how stop it. I'm going a little <laughs> more mainstream. I heard we can win some margaritas. If yeah, how about them Jets? Exactly. Mm, them 2014 Jets. But go ahead. It's 2015 now. <laughs> so your Seahawks, your Seahawks in Green Bay too? Yeah, Green Bay over Seattle. All right. How about you, Jeffrey? Arizona over Dallas. <laughs> There's a slam dunk and a big change. All right, were, you how about, were you laughing at that pick? That was kind of a little bit of. That's a good one. I like that. Mm -hmm. I, I love yeah, Arizona. Like right. Cover I love when right. you guys laugh. You like to laugh. I, I usually like win. I like when you say Arizona. He knows he's right. All right, let's go to the <laughs> AFC. Chuck, you start. Uh, in the AFC, I like New England, and also in the AFC, I like them to play Indy. I like New England, Tom Brady. I like a rematch in the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Super Bowl 50 rematch. All right, what do you, what do you think? Oh, Indy and Baltimore. Indy the over Ravens. Baltimore. Yeah. Be good Flacco and company. Come what do you think of Jeffrey? Like <laughs> Kansas City over Miami. Over Miami? I That'll love the Chiefs. He's going back to the 70s. Sometimes he does this. He just says, flips all the way back. Now, let's take a look at what we've picked for the Super Bowl matchups. They just told you who they thought would win, and there they are. We've got, let's see, Seattle, New England, Green Bay, Indianapolis. That's four different teams, Arizona, Kansas City. A uh, pretty widespread of teams possibility. Hey, Bob, hey. we did the same hey. thing. All right, way to go. All right, as we talk about that, here, give, me, give me the high five <laughs> on that. All right, I like the Indianapolis Colts. I like Andrew Luck. I like, I like Pagano. I like, the, I like the Colts going into it. But in this, in this final thought, last year I did, if you will remember, 
folks. I did pick Seahawks to win. So. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Colts, you did. just stay with the Humble Colts. brag. I thought I'd, I <laughs> thought I'd brag. Hashtag bliss. Because I had a little bit with that. And the Super Bowl is February 7th, and I'll bet you don't know where it is. A lot of people don't know where it is, but we do, right? San Francisco, <laughs> Levi Stadium. It's going to be on the West Coast, and I hear that they're going to televise the media day. Oh, you know where they really? go in and ask all the stupid questions? Because they'll fix it in prime time because of the East Coast time difference. Okay. okay. How about that? Well, that's the Super fun. Bowl for next year. Well, that's our NFL report. We're going to come back in just a moment with Jeffrey and the lightning round and his college predictions against the spread. Get a good look. Because this is the last you'll see of the 2015 Nissans. Now's your final opportunity this summer to get holiday bonus cash on the last of this year's models during Nissan's bottom line model year end event. For a limited time on select models, get up to 1,000 holiday bonus cash on top of existing offers. Bonus cash ends soon. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. The Wizard, can you make me real so I can eat real mellow mushroom pizza instead of cartoon pizza? Stand back. Here we go. Alakazam! Wiggity stickity poof! I'm still a cartoon. Then that'd be a no. Everyone wants real mellow mushroom pizza because our pies use premium meats and cheeses, fresh veggies, and spring water dough baked with wheat goodness. Wiggity stickity poof. Mellow mushroom, a higher order of pizza. Ready to go to Wally World. It's a long way down. Holiday road. Oh, oh, oh. Holiday road. Honey, a blonde Holiday in a convertible? Seriously? Built for families, designed for drivers. The QX60 from Infinity, with a third row and seating for seven. is a jumbo box lotto ticket it's a buck okay no actually i'm gonna get the corn dog instead go, go, go. you can't win if you don't play play georgia's own jumbo box lotto with jackpots starting at a million bucks I call this the dessert segment because we save the best for last and that's of course jeffrey's picks you got the college against the spread this week Will Munchamp, say hello to Bobby Petrino. Take Louisville on the points. Ah. Brigham Young takes on all comers. They've got a rough schedule. I think the wrong team is favored here. Take Brigham Young on the points. There's something about Jim Mora that I just don't buy. I think 19's too much. I don't care who they're playing. Take Virginia. It's a coronation. Ohio State is number one everywhere. Coronations can be difficult. Just ask Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't want to start my coronation in Blacksburg. Take the Hokies and the points. Okay, who's yeah. favored, uh, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? I would just like to see them debate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap it up for this week's show. And by the way, want to wish everybody success with, uh, with your uh, pools and your plays with the games. And, of course, you wanted to say something about uh, uh, North yeah, Gwinnett? I just wanted to say hello to all the North Gwinnett family. I'll see you today at Parkview for the big eighth grade game. Shameless plug. <laughs> all of us will see you next week on Football's Play to Win. Play to Win has been brought to you by the Southeastern Nissan Dealers, Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, and Estes Services.